I'm Eliza with the hair. And <laughs> I've done it. For the hard hitting facts that hold you after, which will be coming at your face, Blanche, stop walking around. Your little high heels are click clacking. <laughs> with me, as always, is my co host, who I will spare her feelings today because she is sick, Alexis, Alexis Dwelle Su Gargante Archer. Hola! I, don't, I have no idea what that meant. It means hello. Oh. Uh, with us always, <laughs> as always, super producer and also sick, uh, the anemic Brian Gramo. I'm so sick. I'm so sick. <laughs> Occupy sick. I was sick. Um, I'm kind of not into this now that I'm looking at it. I feel like you, well, you're not going to see the pre-show on the archive, but like we started like five years late because of that hairdo, which I think is very cute. It's Princess Leia. I don't want to hear any of your nerdy Star Wars references. You can may hear. the news be with you. My nipples just like went in. Uh, like you're supposed giant. to say, and also with you. Oh yeah, me too. Um, all right, <laughs> let's get to the hard hitting facts that hold you after. We have a lot of important things to talk about. <gasps> Dayline. Dayline. You said if I raised my hand, you'd be the I force did. would be with me. I did it. I said the Dayline. force was you with you. <gasps> okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, if you listen to the recording, I said Dateline there. I heard it. Dateline! Dateline! A recently identified new species of horsefly finally received an official name by Australian scientists. Scapatia plinthia Beyoncéa was named after Beyoncé for two reasons. One, uh, it's the all-time diva of flies. That's super gay to say. And it's got a big old gold butt, says Brian Lesser, a researcher from Australia's Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Center. Um, see, I didn't think... Uh, Big butt when I, I don't think big butt when I think Beyonce. They should have named it after Jennifer Lopez. After all, picture. She was a fly girl. <laughs> you thought I was going to make a big butt joke, but I wasn't. She does have a huge butt. Um, in a related story, mm -hmm. I've always felt that Nicki Minaj kind of resembled a black widow spider. <laughs> That's not her. There's a spider. Here's Nicki Minaj. That's... Would have been better if those graphics were side by side. No, that's great. Right? I, she's uh, got a gargantuan rump. Alphabot says she's pretty fly. She has a huge butt. And so <laughs> I've called her Black Widow Spider on my Twitter. And she's black, so that works. And the teleprompter. Well, I, know that, <laughs> I know that a lot of people talk about her butt. And she says, I like my butt, but it does not define me. Yeah, that's it does. Comment. When you go out of your way to have a butt that huge, it kind of does. How did it, what if, I feel like it's natural. Her butt? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't think like she went out of her way to be like eating hamburgers. Like, I must have big butt. Um, like, if she did and she can control where her fat is distributed to, that's amazing. She amazing. should go into the scientific field. Uh, I do think that she wears clothing to like kind of exacerbate it. Like, you don't have to wear things that are tight here, and then she got a large butt. Um, but I like her. Dateline. Dateline. Lawrence Mass, a Massachusetts man, has turned over ninety-four hamsters to a local animal shelter, telling officials that he was running out of room in his apartment. Now, I can understand if the headline was telling officials he was out of room in his butthole. It's really more of a gerbil joke. <laughs> but I don't know. Does he live in a hamster cage? Like, I feel like 94 hamsters takes up, like, that much room. How much room could a hamster possibly take up? I mean, with all the money it takes to feed them. Does it? I feel I like a head of lettuce will no do idea. it. I have no idea. It'd be so weird if you knew that. Just to give you an idea of how small a hamster is, Compared to like a guinea pig, here's a picture of Alexis and I as rodents. There's Alexis, obviously the big one, and there's me as a cute little hamster. Wait, I'm the guinea pig because I'm bigger than you, right? Not because I'm Italian. Ooh, wow. Someone learned their insults from the oh, 1950s man. gangster films. Racist. What did you like sit down with your great grandfather and were like, hey, what did they call you when you came over on the boat? Wow. Uh, no, not a guinea pig, but you are huge. That's true, thank you. As long as it's not offensive. No, as long as it's not a fat joke, of course not. <laughs> Dayline! If a bear does nothing in the woods, does it make a sound? The answer is yes, and we know this because <laughs> the Alaska Department of Fish and Game caught a bear, probably bought it a couple drinks, strapped a video camera to its head, and then they released it back out into the wild, and here is the footage they saw. Sorry, son, but you still have them. You can't pass inspection with pieces left behind. All right. That's why they're Charmin All right, they're strong. not a sponsor. Apparently, bears in the wild not only poop a lot, but speak English. Um, it's obviously... Oh, what? Uh, Brian D. Corgan says, Cocaine bear! Cocaine bear! 
<laughs> Crapping a lot because cocaine goes right through your system. Um, cocaine! Blah, blah, blah. Which is why you need so much toilet paper for yes. your cocaine bear. Because they're all coked out. <laughs> um, <laughs> actually, if you want to see the real footage, here it is. It's not nearly as interesting. I'm a bear and I stink <laughs> and I just ate Sarah Palin and I'm a bear. This is pretty much all the footage. Like, you thought maybe they'd have a secret meeting or do cool stuff. <laughs> it's pretty much just bear level footage. Hours and hours. No, no bear sex. Oh, there's a panda bear. I don't know how he got there. If that <laughs> bear was having sex, like you would just kind of like, you would see just over the bear he was effing, really. And if he was getting effed, then you wouldn't see anything at all. Yeah, that's true. You would just see like. I'm just, I'm just saying, unless he was watching two other bears effing. You would just see like, oh my God, that'd be so funny if you just heard the bear like jerking off in the woods. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's so good. Um, I'm fairly certain just then we were watching one bear kill another bear. Nope. Um, Nothing that no? interesting. Okay. That, that seemed interesting to me. No, if you, it was a bear having sex. Like if that bear went and like had its way with a lady bear, it would be just like the top of her head, and you just hear her like, I'm tired. Oh, my bear butt yeah, is too big. <laughs> oh, do you think Sheila's prettier than me? <laughs> Dateline! <laughs> A group of self-proclaimed witches from Salem, Massachusetts got mm. together to cast a victory spell over Tom Brady and the Patriots for yesterday's game. Here's the video. The witches made this Tom Brady doll stuffed with herbs and stones to help them uncurse the Patriots quarterback, who recently appeared on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Some sports fans think as soon as a player appears on the cover, they're jinxed and won't perform well in their next game. So that's why we decided to do a circle to raise the energy to neutralize any incorrect energies for the Patriots. Yes, if there's one thing magic with a J is all about, it's nature and you casting wicked awesome spells over smoking hot <laughs> Tom Brady. Your ancestors were hung as witch, at the witch trials so you could cover the spread. <laughs> You're a bad witch. And they won, so I guess it worked. Did they uh, win? No Angel Droid Zero says, I love that they actually look like witches. I hope that you never show that tape to anybody trying to prove your sanity. <laughs> I mean, I just, who knew that witches were sports fans? I always thought it was like the goth kids and the jocks. I didn't think the twain should ever meet. No one in the chat room knows if the Patriots won, by the way. <laughs> Not a single person. Pretty sure they won. I like how it's, what did you say, stuffed with herbs and stones? Yeah. Is that dried oregano? Put it in. Could make it <laughs> soup. Uh, all right, let's get to the part of the show where we tell you important things. This is I Need This. Da -da 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 -da. Graphic! There you go, in red, looking nice. Okay, so do you want to go first for I Need This? Uh, I'll go first. Uh, my I Need This was actually from the Neat Company, and they created Neat Desk. Picture, please. Um, the Neat Desk is a scanner that takes any piece of paper, any size, upload, uploads it to your computer, and then organizes it, and then syncs it with your devices. So, you could take a business card, and you could put it in your scanner, and it'll upload it to your computer, and then in your phone, it'll create a contact off of that business card for you. Or you could take, like, a receipt and scan it, and it'll create an expense report for you, and it basically makes, like, everything paperless and organizes your desk. So, neat desk. First of all, for about 30 seconds. That was awesome. No, I thought you were saying meat desk, and I was like, <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. I was, I was a lot more interested in it when I thought it was meat desk, personally. I was too. Second of all, if I you think- I have a cold. If you, you were cold? I have a cold. Oh yeah, me too. Uh, I, I, I gotta admit, I'm, I'm about to fall over. Like it yeah, just stop hit with me. It. Stop being a hypochondriac. I, uh, I'm not a hypochondriac. Brian, I think, you I, think I don't have any circulation in my legs right now. That's because I, you uh, don't eat meat desks. Uh, I don't eat meat. You didn't feel that way until I came in. would make your entire life paperless. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Oh my god, I would rather talk about Star Wars than talk about how sick Brian is. You know what, you're not an exact Leia because like, you know, Leia wasn't blonde, she was a brunette, so it would be more appropriate if Alexis had the hairdo because that would be time. more of an accurate Leia. Next time. Yeah. You have my word. So what's your I need this, Eliza? Uh, before we talk about my I need this, I want to tear apart your I need this. Aww. What makes you think that anybody that watches our show is like turning in an expense report? Most of these people are either under 18 or unemployed, but that's just the effects of the economy. Have nothing to do with you. Okay, but these are the people that are gonna grow up to like run the world. Well, some of you are gonna like grow up and like, 
then you have someone do it for and you. Make inventions, and you're gonna need these inventions to organize your other inventions. Okay, here's the other thing. <laughs> I feel like it's one of those. It's like it's hearts in the right place, but I feel like I would put a business card in there and it would scan it, and because like. I know a lot of comics, they've got like wacky business cards. Whatever it's taught to scan, like in the middle is always the name. They'd have like their address there. And so I'd always be updating the fields. Like cell phone would go into fax number. Who has a fax? Like it would just be a, a big headache. Well, the whole thing about the device is that it's supposed to read whatever is on the paper. No, and I get it, Alexis. It. Okay, I'm just saying that it's not like, oh, the placement of it, press business card. Yes, it whatever. absolutely is. That's how it reads it. Do you, I mean, is it, does it make a JPEG? I don't know. Oh, did someone say JPEG? That's something I can relate to. Ah, oh, JPEG. Please don't make that. <laughs> <laughs> Please late. don't make that Too a GIF. Too late. Chloe's watching. Yeah. She was paying attention. Thumbnail. All right. Thumbnail. My I need this is much dumber. <laughs> Oak Clothing has debuted the dropped crotch skinny jean. Here are the pictures. Yes. Uh. Just when you thought that you were having a hard enough time keeping up your skinny low-rise jeans, thank God this comes along. Now you don't have to worry. Does it? Do these pants make it look like I crap myself? Because the answer is always yes. <laughs> Those are horrible. Either that or you've got a huge penis and you're and, a girl. And do they still give you muffin top? Like, does and, it not and even cure muffin top? If you act now, you can look like you have a load in your pants and you can still have your muffin top. What? What is, seriously, what's the advantage of this at all? I mean, I realize that's the point, but like there has to be some sort of justification for like this being cool. It's fashion, it's fashion for assholes, and for it's something hipsters. that probably only Samantha Ronson could pull off. Because those are for boys. Uh, I wouldn't mind having the extra, you know, Breathing room, but like, I don't, what does a girl benefit from that? Your vagina gets to breathe. <laughs> well, I have, um, you know, I have like external, I have external equipment. Oh my God, stop. Okay. Also, <laughs> what, it, it, you have a penis, is that what you want us to know? Are I'm, you not, I'm not gonna, uh, you know, uh, conform like a, or confirm. deny that you have a penis. I couldn't get it out fast enough. I'm sick. I'm sick. So you uh, have no penis. Uh, also, I have another thing for I need this, because I was a oh, what? Oh, what? Fatboy245 says, are they made by Vera Wang? Oh! Come on, right? Oh! <laughs> oh! Bear cam! <laughs> All right. Uh, something very interesting. I happened to come across this just as I was shutting off my computer the other day. Just kidding. I never shut it off. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the most important thing that one needs to know about dying is that once you're gone, no one will be able to update your Facebook page. Until now. <laughs> There's an Israeli company called Will Look, and they've created uh, an If I Die app. You simply install this app on your page. I have no graphic. Choose three trustees, i.e. people you can, who can be relied upon um, to confirm your sad demise, and... You can record an image or a text or a video that you would want to be published in the event of your death. And if they find out you're dead, they have permission to post that. You know, it's a, it's a little uh, morbid or depressing, but I ha you know I there, the my graduating class in high school apparently has a very poor m mortality rate. So there's all these kids. Well, from look my how class. sick you are today. That's I mean, what I mean. That's what I mean. <laughs> you're almost dead. But it, but like people can and it's a little weird. People keep posting on their wall things they would like and like how's it going. I'll just say Dave. That's not one of their names. But like to me, that's a little twisted. Well, here's my thing. Here's what I think is horrible. Okay, so your friends post it for you. They post all your stuff that you've died, and what if people like it? <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> oh yeah, that's bad form. Uh, um, for more info, you can go to ifidie.com. Um, Dick Nam says, status report, I just died. What would your status update be? What would your final status update be? I think the ultimate status update would just be a picture of your dead body. Uh, Boom. Mine would be, I'll see you in hell. <laughs> oh, mine would be, I want pepperoni on my tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Coming up, nerd news, who should be shot, and your pub of the week. <laughs>